If you like to see transitions of identity and self-confidence that can occur in middle-aged individuals, you should definitely watch our picks for the best midlife crisis movies. The following ranking focuses on movies that deal with the psychological crisis brought about by events that highlight a person's growing age, inevitable mortality, and possibly shortcomings of accomplishments in life. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. City Slickers 1991. Put down that phone! Bill. Put it down! No. Get it. Get it. That's my phone! Yeah, crazy! That's right! Not having sex for 12 years will do that to a person! City Slickers is a 1991 American Western comedy film directed by Ron Underwood and starring Daniel Stern, Billy Crystal, Jack Palance, and Bruno Kirby. The three friends go on a two-week life-changing trip. They encounter a lot of hurdles within their emotions and begin to realize what they need working on. Cattle driving also taught them about their physical health and helped them develop an understanding of their overall being. This movie portrays the mostly male support system in not-so-subtle shades. A call from the bedroom! The bedroom! How the hell would you know where the bedroom is? I'm calling! Go ahead, call him! I'm sure he's home! It's his night to meet with the other escaped Nazis, isn't it? I hate you! I hate you more! Number 9. The Family Man, 2000. I wake up in the morning covered in dog saliva. I drop the kids off, spend eight hours selling tires retail. The Family Man is a 2000 American romantic comedy drama film directed by Brett Ratner, written by David Diamond and David Weissman, and starring Nicolas Cage and Tia Leone. The film is a tale of one man in two manifestations, hosting a curious theme of interlinking chances. The movie revolves around one man's journey towards making drastic decisions towards his future. There is a lot of to and fro in the movie. Jesus, Kate, I could have been a thousand times the man I became. I could have been one of the richest... Forbes, how could you do this to me? How could you let me give up on my dreams like this? Really, I want to know. Number eight, The Beaver, 2011. I don't want to sleep anymore. Maybe, maybe we, you know, we should work on something. The Beaver is a 2011 comedy drama film directed by Jodie Foster, written by Kyle Killen and stars Mel Gibson. Foster, Anton Yelchin, and Jennifer Lawrence. The movie is a very relatable tale of an exhausted husband who finds himself alone and broken in spirits. Just then, a puppet becomes his power source to project his best version, while relating to the world outside and saves him for a while. There is humor, and there are questions raised. Our lead character evolves into a man loved by all. Worthless, lonely piece of shit! You're nothing without me, Walter. Number 7. A Serious Man, 2009. It's okay. Uh, Larry, we're gonna be fine. A Serious Man is a 2009 black comedy drama film written, produced, edited, and directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen. Set in 1967, the film stars Michael Stuhlberg, who portrays Larry Gopnik, a Midwestern physics teacher who watches his life unravel over multiple abrupt incidents. He tries seeking meaning and answers amidst his turmoils, but appears to stay sinking. It is a constant push in layers after layers in Jewish society and the greater society around them. Larry pushes himself to understand more, even after continuously failing. Look, if it were defamation, there would have to be someone I was defaming him too. Or I... All right, I... Let's keep it simple. I could pretend the money never appeared. Number 6. JCVD, 2008. Je crois... C'est pas un film. Une réalité. Directed by French Tunisian film director Mabrouk El Mashri, this 2008 action crime comedy has Jean Claude Van Damme, Valerie Bodson, and Hervé Saunier in lead roles. The criminal story revolves around Jean Claude Van Damme, semi fictionalized character playing himself, who finds himself in the middle of a post office heist. We watch him fight the biggest fight of his life against himself, as he's seen looking back the life he has lived. Je Je l'ai demandé avec beaucoup de croyance. Quand on a 13 ans, on croit au rêve. Et même la donner. Mais moi, encore aujourd'hui, qu'est-ce que j'ai fait pour cette terre? Rien! Number 5. Manhattan, 1979. Yeah, well, I liked her first. I liked her first? What are you, what are you six years old? Jesus! Manhattan has always been Woody Allen's muse. 
this classic 1979 American romantic comedy film produced by Charles H. Schaff, was written by Alan and Marshall Brickman. Alan co-stars as a twice-divorced 42-year-old comedy author who is dating a 17-year-old girl, but he falls in love with his best friend's mistress, portrayed by Diane Keaton. This movie uses its backdrop very beautifully in relating to the social norms. Meryl Streep and Anne Byrne additionally star. I keep stating it like it's to my advantage when it's you that wants to get out of it. Hey, don't be so precocious, okay? I mean, don't be so smart. I, I'm 42 years old, my hair's falling out, I'm starting to lose some hearing in my right ear. Is that what you want? Number 4. Crazy Stupid Love, 2011. Be better than the gap. Be better than the gap. Say it. Crazy Stupid Love is a 2011 American romantic comedy film directed by Glenn Ficarra and Jean Ricoeur, written by Dan Fogelman and starring Steve Carell, Julianne Moore, Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone, Kevin Bacon, and Marissa Tomei. It follows the story of a deeply tormented man at the beginning of a divorce. He ends up soul-searching and rediscovering why he was first attracted to his wife when they met. Meanwhile, his very handsome mentor, Ryan, an easy womanizer, falls passionately in love with a charming young woman. Are you Steve Jobs? What? Hold on a second. Are you the billionaire owner of Apple computers? No. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you got no right to wear New Balance sneakers ever. Come on. Number three, Falling Down 1993. I don't want to be your buddy, Rick. I just want a little breakfast. Well, you can call me Miss Folsom if you want to. Sheila. We stop serving breakfast at 11.30. Falling Down is a 1993 thriller film, directed by Joel Schumacher and written by Eb Rose Smith. The film stars Michael Douglas in a lead role as William Foster, a divorced and jobless former defense engineer. He becomes annoyed with the various flaws he sees in society and begins to psychologically and violently fight against them. Michael has had it to the brim and is now plucking out all that he sees as threatening. The movie shows increasing darkness within William. You think I'm a thief? No. You see, I'm not the thief. I'm not the one charging 85 cents for a stinking soda! You're the thief! Just standing up for my rights as a consumer. Number two. Lost in Translation, 2003. Make it Suntory time. Lost in Translation is a beautiful story of cultural shock. Published in 2003, the romantic comedy drama was written and directed by Sofia Coppola and stars Bill Murray as aging actor Bob Harris and Scarlett Johansson as college graduate Charlotte. The renowned actor discovers what it is to be an average traveler in a country where no one speaks what he will perceive. There is an expected reluctance in our actor, that is, until he develops a sweet, friendly relationship with a fellow American. They start searching for the answers to their very intricate queries together. Does it get easier? No. Yes. It gets easier. Oh, yeah? Number 1. American Beauty, 1999. Brad, for 14 years I've been a whore for the advertising industry. The only way I could save myself now is if I start firebombing. American Beauty is a 1999 American drama film written by Alan Ball and directed by Sam Mendes in his directorial debut. Starring Kevin Spacey, Mina Suvari, and Annette Bening, the movie gives a satirical look into American society in the late 90s. However, a closer look depicts a tale of the subtleties and nuances of a midlife crisis and recognition of personal growth, respectively, in men and women. What do you want? One year's salary with benefits. That's not going to happen. Well, what do you say I throw in a little sexual harassment charge to boot? <laughs> Against who? Against you. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.